Hey Davis County, I'm Max. It's Wednesday, November 9th, 2016. Here's the news. Voting is now open for the 14 new Sunrise Spirit display as we are competing against Mount Vernon High School. The winner will take bragging rights for having the best display for 2016. The hashtag for our display has been changed to hashtag DCHS Express. Go to 14news.com and then click on the Sunrise Spirit Pep Rally logo to vote. Now stay tuned for this week's birthdays. Attention OCTC students, tuition for OCTC Discover College students is due November 15, 2016. Bills have been sent via U.S. mail. If you did not receive one, you can by logging into your account at owensboro.kcts.edu and check your balance to confirm that your tuition was covered by one of the scholarship or waiver programs that is listed on the website. For programs about your bill, contact the OCTC business office at 270-686-4510. Attention Key Club members, Key Club will be meeting on Friday, November 11th in room 238 at 730. Please be on time. Now stay tuned for a word from Ms. Smith about the upcoming Key Club Paper Goods Drive that will be taking, here, taking place here next week at DC. Good afternoon, Davis County High School. I am the sponsor for the Key Club for Davis County High School and next week is our annual Thanksgiving Paper Goods Drive. Things that we would like you to bring in for the food uh, for the paper good drive would be um, toilet paper, uh, shampoo, conditioner, laundry detergent, napkins, paper plates, spoons, forks, all those utensils and plastic, napkins, paper towels, um, anything that somebody couldn't typically buy with the resources or the means they have available to get. These will go into the Thanksgiving baskets that you have already been so generous with the food during our sunrise, um, during our sunrise event. So please participate, bring out the CCR group that has the most turned in every day will receive a treat and that will be announced the following day on the news. Attention junior and senior girls, powder puff football signups for all junior and senior girls will begin today. Forms may be picked up in the front office. The game is scheduled to take place on Monday, November 21st at 5 p.m. All forms of money are due this Friday. Please see Coach Brandon for any questions. Heads up, FCCLA members. Miss Hayden is taking a group of students on a field trip to Sullivan University on Friday, November 11th. All members of Miss Hayden's classes, as well as FCCLA members, are eligible to go on this trip. There are only 50 spots, however, so this will be on a first come, first serve basis. Please see Miss Hayden in room 118 for a permission slip or more information. Attention Beta Club members. The annual Beta Club Rake and Run is scheduled for November 19th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The idea is to do a service for homeowners and expect nothing in return. Students must provide the homeowner with a letter that explains their mission and get permission from the homeowner to proceed with raking. Get a team together and meet at school for leaf bags, letters, and neighborhood assignments at 10 a.m. Attention all actors, actresses, and singers. Audition for the DCHS Spring Musical Oklahoma will be held on Tuesday and Wednesday, November 29th and 30th from 3.30 to 5.30 in the choir room. Auditions are open to any DCHS student. For audition materials or questions, see Ms. Miller in room 109. Attention juniors, applications for the Washington Youth Tour and GSP are available. If you have questions, please see Ms. Powers and guidance. The Youth Tour deadline is December 31st and the GSP deadline is December 5th. As part of the Chili Supper Silent Auction on November 12th, the DCHS boys basketball team are asking people to bring in a new toy as part of their admission. The boys basketball team will take the toys to Norton's Children's Hospital later this month to donate to children at the hospital during the Christmas season. The toys do not have to be wrapped. Now stay tuned for a message about the toy drive sponsored by the boys basketball team.
the Chili Supper here at Davis County High School, we're hosting the toy drive. We're asking anybody to bring in a toy as part of their entry into the Chili Supper. After the Chili Supper, the boys' basketball program will take those toys to North Children's Hospital. Uh, we want to donate toys to those kids in need during the holiday season and hopefully bring some joy. I'm Will Whitaker. I'm a player on the Davis County basketball team. And uh, we took all these toys to these kids last year at the Children's Hospital and made a big impact on their lives for what they couldn't get for Christmas. And we'd like to keep that tradition going. If you all could supply us with more toys to take there this year. And it's a big part of our mission statement of Purpose Driven that we uh, push in our program. I hope you support us and bring toys to the toy box. Show us how to Go Panthers. Attention students and teachers, the Y Club is selling Kentucky t-shirts. If you would like to purchase a shirt for $15 and support the DCHS Y Club, please see Mr. Easley in room 213 or talk to your favorite Y Club member. Attention students, the deadline for yearbook ads has been extended for Friday, November 18th. The prices are as follows. Half a page is $125, one quarter of a page is $75, and an eighth of a page is $50. For more information, see Ms. Head. Attention students, today, Diedrich Jackson from Gorman Recruiting will be visiting the Davis County Public Library to host a workshop on how to interview for a job. He'll be offering practical demonstrations and real-world advice about what to do before, during, and after a job interview. This program will be geared towards teens in grades 9 through 12. Teens can register for this program by calling DCPL at 270-684-0211, extension 3. Here's what's going on today at DC. There will be a pep rally celebrating the Panthers soccer team state championship at the end of the day today, followed by a reception in the cafeteria starting at 4 p.m. That's all for today.